Uh, my name is Joseph Grima and I'm the uh, editor of Domus and I'm also curator of the Istanbul Design Biennale, co-curator of the Istanbul Design Biennale. Uh, I think I would preserve the idea of stratification. Um, I think the one thing that is in this moment of accelerated urban change, uh, one of the things that is a problem is the, uh, the tendency to replace um, kind of tabula rasa, the old with the new. And I think that what's most interesting about the, uh, uh, the, 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 the greatest richness of um, the urban environment is the sense of stratification and adaptation. So I think that uh, there needs to be uh, increased regulation as to how subtraction and addition occurs. Uh, and that for there to be a dialogue between the old and the new, a little bit like, um, yeah, like uh, uh, Rem Kolas talked about the idea of kind of an urban crop rotation in which certain things are completely new, certain things are completely old, but there's, for me, the most important thing to preserve is, is that space in between, something in between. Uh, I think I would introduce a greater sense of ambiguity. Uh, I think one, one thing that is uh, the, the kind of the, en the greatest enemy of urban life and uh, of a successful city is an excess of control. Uh, there was a, there's a project in the exhibition here, a film by Gregoire Bastevant about um, Ravinta La Paiva, which is the restaurant day in Helsinki, which is a completely spontaneous, uh, happens two or three times a year. Uh, it's a, what they call restaurant day. They, uh, uh, citizens of the city open up their living rooms, their backyards, the, they enter into the public parks and everybody sets up their own micro restaurant where they sell food to other inhabitants of the city. And I think that this is, uh, is something that exists completely outside of the frameworks of um, legality of, uh, uh, of city administration. And so there's something about, I think to be able to uh, preserve this, we need to have spaces that are ambiguous, that are not controlled, that are not single mono-use, but that have kind of multifunctional use. I think uh, what I would take away from the city is, uh, is related to this, is the um, idea of attempting to control, I would take away control from the city. Uh, not necessarily, it doesn't need to be completely removed control, but there needs to be um, the, the, one of the greatest enemies of uh, vitality is uh, the attempt to uh, prescribe what should happen in every space. And so I think a lot of the mechanisms of control that are really prevalent, surveillance, uh, barriers, boundaries, uh, all of these things are uh, increasingly saturating urban space today. And I think it would be, uh, uh, I think that is what I would take away.